Hello there. My name is Amber, and I'm 19 years old. I want to talk about how my cat ended up causing me to get pregnant. <laughs> Dude, what? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to get right into it, okay? How you all doing? How it's a, it's a nice dandy good morning for all of us. Now, this is a story channel. This is specifically share your story. Now, if you haven't been following story time animated channels or channels that have been around for a fair bit, they probably are the most base channels in existence and they're very active. This is a 2020 video, by the way, of the cat getting her pregnant. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, these aren't exactly real stories, and we'll get to that in a bit. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know what it's all about, this is effectively a content farm. If you don't know what content farms are, these are effectively channels that push out, like, we're talking about multiple pieces of content per day, animated stories in this case, which uh, which are what Share Your Story is about. If you go to their About section, uh, they provide people with the opportunity to share their most interesting and life-changing stories with the world. Send us your stories if you think it's worth sharing, and we'll turn it into an animated video that describes it perfectly. Now, if you go to the videos tab real quick, you can see that they have totally legitimately provided stories. Not not BS at all. Uh, one is uh, my stepfather. My dad kidnapped me and did it with me five times. Now, they received the story a week ago, right? In fact, they also received, I guess, the same fucking story, which was uh, my dad kidnapped me and did it five times. Now, of course, these are very serious topics. Um, they actually uh, they actually use the word pregnant a lot. Like, for instance, you can see I got my stepmom pregnant. My twin sisters got me pregnant. My, t my uh, This is the one that's not pregnant. Uh, I wish my daughter was pregnant instead of what I knew. I came back to get revenge on my mom. There's a lot of pregnancy that's involved in these storylines. Uh, I think that's a, that's a very running theme. Maybe it's popular. I'm not sure. But uh, we'll, go, we'll go down the content rabbit farm a little bit more. That cat pregnant story is not the only one that's a little too spicy for regular viewing. My dead husband got my sister pregnant while I was in coma. Now, if you think that, Moody, you haven't made a deep web video in a while, you're right. But what if I told you that the clear web was just way more weirder and darker? Now, this is some Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain levels of pregnancies where uh, we'll get into it. This is an 11 minute long video, and I can't confirm if this actually has ads or not because I have like a I have Brave Browser, which is like ad block up the ass and I'm not turning it off uh, for any reason. Oh shit, it does have ads! Holy crap! Cats cats getting human beings pregnant? That's fine. That's Gucci. Wait, does the does the kidnap does it, wait, I just wanna see. Does the kidnapping video have advertisements? Please God. My stepfather Dude, the kidnapping story got fucking ads. Oh my god! Dude, what, forget about it. YouTube gives out strikes for no reasons. Literally places an ad on the story of a kidnap. My God, they don't care, dude. They don't care. They have no fucks given. There's no care. But before I got the chance to get back up, he handcuffed me. I started screaming oh, for spicy. help. Dad handcuffed. Oh no, Grammarly ad. What? I... I was, I was in a very serious situation. I was hearing a story about how her dad handcuffed the girl. And now I'm getting a Grammarly ad? I don't give a shit about my grammar. I want to I wanna know about this kidnapping. Skip it. Oh, it's poorly animated. Who gives a fuck? Now, it even gets further down the rabbit hole. You know, you can even find out my bear got me pregnant. My story actually happened. Yeah, I'm sure it did. I'm sure you got prego by the bear. Now, I don't know what they're talking about bear at this point. It could be very dark in nature. I mean, you know, the fact that they don't have pedo bear in there makes makes me... It gives me a bit of relief. I'm not sure, I would say. Oh, fuck it. Let's open it up. Maybe it's not as bad. Hi, my name is okay. Britta. And I'd like to tell you how my big teddy bear got... Ah, that's a totally real story. I'm gonna fall for that shit. God damn. <laughs> he even saw John propose to me. And oh boy, he wasn't pleased about it. So he snuck into my dorm again the very next night and actually got inside the big teddy bear he had given me. Can you believe it wasn't really a gift, but part of an elaborate plan? Back when we were dating, he had bought it to scare me. The teddy bear was... Girl, you better fucking run. That man is off his rocker. What the hell is this shit, dude? <laughs> Holy crap. You should not be smiling. This is a very, very scary, potentially very dangerous scenario. Run. 
big enough for him to fit inside it, and the idea was that he'd slip into it one night and wake me up making growling sounds and flapping the teddy's arms around. But instead, since I had dumped him, he decided to sneak into the toy bear after we broke up. I loved to sleep cuddling the toy, and he knew it. So one night, before I got into my room, he snuck into the teddy and waited for me to come home and fall asleep. He got me pregnant. What the fuck? What? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, this got way too dark. Holy crap, that's a part one of the story? Dude, what the hell? There's no- I can't even find a part two. They literally titillated me with this, like, fucking criminal story, and now I can't even get a second fucking part. Jesus Christ. Dude, what is this? Imagine, like- I, I, I just want to imagine. There's gotta be, like, some, like, fucking young sibling that anyone has, or, like, someone's daughter, who they just give, like, an iPad to. It's like, whatever, don't annoy me for the next 15 minutes, 20 minute hour. And then they're watching these fucking stories, and you peek over to the tablet, like, oh, it looks like some animated nonsense. But little do you know, little Susie, little Billy is learning about the bear weirdo, the bear boyfriend that's committing fucking literal crimes. What the hell, dude? I feel dirty watching it. Oh, my grandpa got me pregnant? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Let's go let's get down into it. Fuck yeah. Here's another one from Storytime Animated. I drank a bunch of baby milk, and now I'm pregnant. Oh, shit, dude. I love it. Hashtag real stories. Um, yeah, hashtag real stories in this synopsis. I do not buy it. Hi, my name is Vanessa, and I got pregnant from drinking baby formula. Ever since I was young, I've- Should have didn't fucking mix semen with the baby formula? You sure that you also didn't stick it up your vag too? What the fuck? <laughs> Ever since I was young, I've loved the taste of baby milk. I knew it was weird for me to continue drinking it since I was no longer a baby or even a toddler, but I couldn't give it no, up. I, I don't think I don't think that's weird. I I just I just don't see you getting fucking pregnant from it. I had someone in my life that loved and supported me and didn't think that my baby milk addiction was weird at all. So he began buying me my favorite brand and bringing it home for me. I was sure he was the right guy for me and that we'd eventually get married. So he's marriage material because he buys you fucking, because he buys you your favorite brand of baby milk? Ladies, you heard it right here, boys. This is a marriage built to last. He knows the proper baby milk for his gal. I mean, goddamn, guys. Come on. Is it so easy? Is it so difficult to be this fucking based? Come on now. He made me my bottle, and when I began drinking it, the taste seemed off. It didn't taste bad. It was just different. I asked if he bought a different brand, and he told me he hadn't. Maybe they had simply changed the ingredients slightly, he reasoned. I shrugged it off and drank the rest of my bottle. I didn't think anything of it until a few weeks later when things began to change. I got sick every single morning and felt odd. I didn't get my period that month, and so I decided to go see a doctor in order to figure out what was wrong with me. Much to my surprise, my doctor told me that I was pregnant. I told him that was impossible since I was still a virgin, even if I did have a- You do realize you can't get pregnant from consuming things through your mouth, right? Like, holy shit, dude. Who the fuck fell for this? God damn! But she is a virgin, apparently, and so now you heard the magical virginity story, like the vir virgin conception or whatever the fuck it is, through a YouTube video. Congratulations, it finally happened again after thousands of fucking years. God bless. This is a... <laughs> I like, I like the comment. She wasn't pregnant by milk. I think her boyfriend put something in there. Listen, even if he jerked off into her milky, okay, guess what? She still drank it through the mouth. Do you guys have any idea how sex ed- Ah, oh, whatever. They're all like nine years old in the comment section. What the fuck am I even talking to? I ate baby soup in China. Actually happened story. Now, if you think that, you know, God wasn't fucking judging you enough, give me, give me a second. Now, the thumbnail for this- and I'm going to blur it out, but YouTube YouTube has a thumbnail up. It's actually a, a baby that's uh, not chopped up like a whole, like, baby in, in a soup, all right? Like, I'm not fucking kidding with you. It's kind of fucking... It, it's very disgusting. And let, let's, let's go into the video, okay? L let's watch a little bit of this story. Hello, everyone. I'm James. I'm 31 years old, and this story is still one that I think about quite often. I mean, if, if I ate baby soup, I'd, I'd think about that story till the damn fucking dead, but okay, James. After exploring a bit more, 
we decided to finally allow my friend to escort me to where this magical treatment apparently was. He took me down to this Wuhan market, and it was probably one of the shadiest places I've ever seen. Look at the title again. Actually happened story. Coronaviruses. Let's go. We immediately stormed out of the establishment, and I questioned him. I felt mortified when he told me it translated to baby soup, and it was exactly what it no sounded way. like. No way, they're not going to do this. They're not going to fucking do this. Apparently, parents can sell their infants that die naturally right before birth for a couple thousand dollars, and aborted fetuses and placenta can also be sold for a... Ah! No! No! Fuck off! No! They didn't do it! They have no fucking soul! Don't tell me, does this actually- did this get ads? Please tell me, God, did this get ads? I swear to God, if it got ads, I'm gonna sell my fucking fur- I'm- I'm going to IT GOT FUCKING ads. Oh! No, I can't. I fucking can't. Grammarly, you are terrible. I- I can't. I'm done. I'm done. Tapping out. It's all over. Fuck, I'm done. I've watched too much pregnancies. I call it at the bat soup sto- Baby soup story. I am done. Oh my God, that is terrible. All right, now if you don't know what they're going with, they actually, uh, they're actually playing off like what happened like years ago uh, in China. This is something that I remember from uh, from the days of Encyclopedia Dramatica. If you don't know what that is, it's a satirical wiki that's like really fucking far off in terms of uh, in terms of offensive content. But they actually talked about something called child cannibalism real quick. Let's just cover it real quick. I am gonna get fucking- I'm probably gonna get strike for it. These guys get ads, I have to walk on fucking eggshells. But controversy, this is relating to China. When performance artist Zhu Yu claimed that he prepared, cooked, and ate real human bodies, including fetuses, in an artistic performance. The performance was called Eating People. He claimed it was to protest against cannibalism. It was intended as shock art. The Chinese Ministry of Culture cited a menace to social order and the spiritual health of the Chinese people banned exhibitions involving cultures, animal abuse, uh, corpses, overt violence, and sexuality. Zhu Yu was prosecuted for his deeds. Snopes and other urban legend sites said that the fetus that he used was constructed from a duck's body and a doll's head. Holy shit. So they're basically like fucking play. Again, remember, this video was released at the height of the fucking COVID-19, like, uh, uh, pandemic that we're going through right now. And it plays so well into the theories of the Wuhan market, the wet markets, and, and the fucking fact that bat soup was sort of the original point, the ground zero for this fucking pandemic that we're stuck in. Now, I don't know what the center of it is. I don't follow a whole lot of the conspiracy theories. Honestly, I'm waiting until independent researchers come out with their findings. But holy shit! You know what? I can probably tolerate the cat pregnancy stories. I could tolerate a lot of the other shit. But when you get fucking greenlit for ads on baby soup videos, the fucking cutesy animation, I call it, dude. I am done. Ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Mood Harn. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. This is me, Muda, and I am probably going to play some SWAT Force. Let me know if you want that Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, I am out. Whew!